I noticed some oil on the underside of the front. Well, good morning, everybody. It is the day after Christmas, and Don and I just met for breakfast here at Awake in Carrollton. And I am actually going to be heading out of town today. I uh, go see my brother. And I just had a couple of things I wanted to update you on. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me this day after Christmas. It's about 64 degrees right now here in Carrollton. It got up to 82 degrees yesterday on Christmas Day. Can you believe that? Pretty amazing when you think about it. And it's supposed to be 80 today. I think I'm getting a phone call. Hang on. What the hell? I don't have CarPlay turned on. So let me see what that is. Hmm. Oh. I think it was a phone call from my it was. It was a phone call from my Moni Moto. I don't have my little fob with me this morning. I have it in my other jacket. <laughs> so I got my uh, a phone call from Moni Moto letting me know that they think somebody's stolen my motorcycle. So anyway. So today I'll be heading, uh, flying, actually I'm going to be flying to West Texas. I could have ridden the bike. The weather's so nice. It's going to be nice all week, actually. But I wanted to, uh, this will be my last motor vlog for 2021. And it's been uh, quite a year. As some of you watched my little Christmas video uh, that I did a few days ago. Where I kind of went over the statistics of what's happened on our YouTube channel this year. So, been very, uh, been a very busy year, and I suspect 2022 will be equally busy. One of the things I forgot to mention in that video that I'd like to do in 2022, and I'd appreciate it if you'd tell me if this is something you would be interested in in the comments down below. And that is, I would like to do some motorcycle reviews of different brands, different models of motorcycles. Is that something that you would be interested in seeing? I hope to be going uh, up to Oklahoma to maybe do a review and a test ride of the 2022 Goldwing. And I thought while I'm there, if there are any other new models, that you guys might be interested in might be an opportunity to do some video reviews of those bikes as well so let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you might be interested in I also get a lot of comments from people or questions I should say I also get a lot of questions about my moto vlogging setup and today I'm using a new mount. If you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, it's mounted to the very center of my uh, chin portion of this HJC modular helmet. And there's a company called Chin Mounts, and I'm using one of their new mounts that puts the GoPro right in the middle of the chin mount. Before it was kind of off to the side over here where you see these wires so I'll be anxious to get home and do some editing on this and see how it uh, how the video comes out yesterday believe it or not on Christmas Day I was doing some work on the bike um, for another video that will be coming out next week and what I did was I removed the traction 
engine guard because I wanted to see if I could get access to the rear drain bolt on a DCT transmission. Now the good news is I was able to get access to that drain bolt. Okay, here is the bracket from traction on the rear of the engine. And as you can see, I am able to get my 12 millimeter socket onto this drain bolt. No problem. Now, if I had a thicker wall socket, that might be a problem. But for me, uh, I don't have a I don't have any trouble getting the socket on there. Fine. The, of course, you could always remove that bracket and just do a little bit of grinding that area, and um, you know, make it where your socket would fit. I'm heading to a grocery store right now to pick up a few things before my trip. In fact, why don't I go do my shopping and get that over with, and then I'll come back and we'll finish this video uh, on the rest of the way home, because I have some important stuff to tell you, so don't go anywhere. Okay, I got my shopping done. I had to stop and grab some bananas for Ricky to take to her mom. So let's uh, get on with the show. So I was telling you that I removed this traction engine guard and I was able to get the drain plug or access to the drain plug. But there's a couple of things I did notice when I removed the engine guard that I wanted to make you aware of and those of you that have the traction engine guard uh, would like to ask you to check on yours when I went to remove it I removed the little the three little taper bolts on the rear of the plate first and the one one of those little tapered bolts, the first one I went to remove, it was on so tight, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it out. In fact, I kind of stripped out the head of the Allen head on the little taper screw uh, trying to get it out. It was in there so tight, I had to go get another Allen wrench that... Uh, was in a little better shape you might say and could, could get a bite on the on that taper screw and I was able to get it out and it was what's really strange is I did not tighten these that tight I mean I put them in you know firmly but I didn't really over tighten them so the other taper screws came out okay but after you've installed your plate have you tried removing the plate by removing those tapered screws and dropping the plate to see, you know, if how it comes off? I'd be curious to know if you had that same experience. I'm, fortunately, they sent me a couple of extra tapered screws because the one that I had a hard time getting out, the head is so stripped out, I think I'm just going to have to throw it away and use a different one, a new one. Now, here's the disappointing thing. When I removed the plate, I noticed some oil on the underside of the front of the plate. And sure enough, uh, when I looked up at the engine, I could see that there was some oil seeping out where I had uh, mounted that front bracket. So if you've installed, and I did tighten those uh, traction Allen head bolts on the bracket I tightened those to factory spec 18 foot pounds so I would be curious to know if any of you that have this installed on your bike if you've dropped that plate after riding a few times if you've been able to notice any oil on the underside of your plate um, 
maybe I I don't know maybe I didn't tighten it correctly I went back and retightened it uh, but it does show that I do have it tightened to 18 foot-pounds so I found that to be and it wasn't like a, a major oil leak it was just like a little bit of seepage uh, not enough to where it would have you know dripped onto the floor or anything like that it was just a little bit of oil moisture on the underside of that plate so if any of you have had this experience please let me know in the comments down below I am going to send a picture to Max to let him look at it and see if he has any thoughts on the subject now one nice thing about this new uh, oh, and also let me back up I will be doing some videos on behind the scenes I've already got one started I'll be doing a series of these one of them is going to be on how I some of the things I do when I shoot a video out in the shop another one will be a studio kind of a behind the scenes studio shot and then I'll do some uh, editing uh, behind the scenes on editing and things like that but I'm waiting to get my new monitor before I do the uh, the rest of these behind the scenes so I don't have all my hardware in yet to do it the good news is my new 16 inch MacBook Pro is large enough that I can actually edit videos on that laptop and I'll be taking that computer with me to West Texas and I will be doing some editing while I'm at my brother's in fact this video you're watching right now I will probably won't get posted until tonight or tomorrow because I will have to have edited it you know once I get to West Texas so I will keep you up to date on that so you should have a couple of new videos coming before the end of the year and then we'll be into 2022 I'm actually pulling into Walmart because I have to pick up some stuff here too before my trip but that's all I have today I don't have a lot to tell you I just wanted to update you on that on that uh, engine guard situation and I wanted to let you know about my new chin mount and Hopefully we'll have more nice weather. It's supposed to be in the 60s and 70s all week this week. Should be a beautiful week to ride here in Texas. I meant to get out and do some riding yesterday on Christmas Day, but instead I spent the day taking parts off the bike for the, uh, you know, to check out that, that uh, engine guard, being able to get to that rear drain bowl, which I was able to do. So I want to thank you again for joining me today. If you liked this video, please take a second to click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps us with YouTube. What they do is the more people who subscribe, they figure our videos are more valuable and they'll make them visible to more people who are not subscribers. So the other day when I said there's no real benefit to getting subscribers, that's not really true. Uh, YouTube does use that as a metric by which to measure um, how how uh, important and whether or not they want to promote the videos to non-subscribers. So I appreciate it if you click that subscribe button. Please click the like button if you like the video. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you from West Texas.